Hello everyone, my name is Mike and today we are going to talk about Microsoft Windows licensing which is very important and a big requirement in these days in big companies and MNCs where everybody wants to keep the data centralized via server and wants to provide a remote desktop access to users so that they can keep the data into the server and users are confined to keep their data only to the server itself so this is a very interesting fact when uh, you got uh, you get 120 days as in trial version from Microsoft where you can access uh, access the remote access to your server 2008 R2 server 2012 R2 and 2016 uh, wherein Microsoft provide 120 days grace period uh, time to get these features uh, access in your environment so I have a little tweak here when uh, you know one can extend those 120 days to good amount of number of days so uh, this is a very interesting fact and I want to share with you all we're in I'm going to talk about that how you can extend those uh, three digits days to four digits yeah I repeat again three digit dates days to four digits days which means you can extend one 120 days to more than thousand days so this is what I have done so just to showcase it to you how it happens uh, I want to give you uh, clarity on that so for that we straight we're going to hop onto my server 2012 which I have installed on my Dell PowerEdge so here we go so I'm going to take a remote session of my server when we have configured uh, that those settings and tweaks here we go so once you log into the server it will push up the few a uh, few policies it's already in a domain environment it's basically in the main controller uh, the server is a domain controller and those pop-ups which I'm going to talk about will pop up here uh, which will tell you that how many number of days you are left in your server at this point of time so I will click on server manager okay so once you jump into the server manager you need to click on all servers at the moment we have only one server but again it's going to showcase it to all policies and all features you have installed in the servers this consists of an active directory and a couple of more services along with the remote desktop server uh, licensing to uh, features too it take it take a while to open that okay so here you can see 3037 I hope you have noticed that it, it's pop up for, for for a few seconds not more than that so as you can see easily that my remote desktop services which usually comes for 120 days is showing 300 3000 I want to repeat it again 3337 days which means if I want to show you the exact figures how many number of years it are they are so I just straight away going to delete uh, going to uh, divide them with 365 days which means I'm going to get close to eight years for my remote desktop licensing uh, which is which is I mean a fair amount of numbers of days and eight years is a very big time so just imagine if you get an eight years just for trial version you no need to buy any licenses for it so those of you who wanted to know more about it I really appreciate it they can drop me a message it pops up again as you can see that three zero three seven days on the R the connection broker so so it will stop after 3037 days which is an ample amount of time for anyone to do a number of things without paying or without getting any licenses with Microsoft so which is a very big saving and I must admit this this is a very great feature which I have uh, incorporated within small tweak and I will be going to share with those those who really wanted to know that how it can be done so I would appreciate as I was saying moment back those who are interested please drop me a message below and I will ensure to write you back and can explain them that how these things can be done thank you so very much for paying attention to this and I'm going to post a couple of more tweaks like as such to talk more about that have a great day guys and see you again cheers Mike